My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today it is the third Sunday of the Lenten season. We read from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2, verses 13 to 25. We read as follows. In the temple, Jesus found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons, and the money changes at their business. Making a whip of cords, he drove them all with the sheep and oxen out of the temple, and he poured out the coins of money changes and overturned their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, Take these things away. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for thy house will consume me. My dear brothers and sisters, we might find it difficult to imagine Jesus with a whip of cords, driving animals and people out of the temple. Jesus always was kind and gentle, always patient with his apostles and with sinners, and especially sick people and of course noisy children. Jesus could cope up with everything except hypocrisy, a lack of respect for the sacred house of his father. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Jose Maria once remarked, Piety has its own good manners, learn them. Sometimes it is shame to see those pious people who don't know how to attend Mass or how to bless themselves or how to bend the knee before the tabernacle or how to bow their heads in a reverential manner. There is a need to teach these people how to behave in the church in front of the Eucharist. Just imagining Jesus with a whip can give us a hint of the importance Jesus gives to this reverence. In the life of St. Padre Pio, as he was praying one day in the chapel, when a soul from purgatory appeared to him dressed in a similar capuchin habit of his own, when the saint asked him to identify himself, the soul replied, I am a friar like you and I did my novitiate here. I was interested to take care of the altar but I passed in front of the tabernacle many times without making the proper reverence. For this sin I am in purgatory. Then he asked for prayers to go to heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, the friar was not in purgatory due to grave sins, but just due to lack of reverence for the holy sacrament. This can help us to examine ourselves. How are my reverential genuflections? Uh, how is my reverence during the Holy Mass? How do I behave in God's presence? Of course, how do I look after Jesus who is locked up in the tabernacle out of his love for us? Let us pray. Let us pray to our mother Mary so that she can teach us to love her son May our actions glorify God. Amen.